election's almost here now. The decision day is just 17 days away. President Obama and his Republican challenger Mitt Romney are hitting the books this weekend, getting ready for their third and final debate on Monday in South Florida. The latest CNN poll shows Romney leading in that hugely important swing state by a single point. And we're talking politics now with Democratic strategist Maria Cardona and Republican strategist Chris Wilson. Welcome, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. Hey, Monday's debate is going to be focusing on foreign policy. We know things got really heated last week talking about Libya. Do you see it as being a big issue on Monday? Maria, ladies first. I think it probably will be a big issue, Natasha, and I think President Obama will welcome it. I think what we saw, one of the most important moments in, in the last presidential debate, and what a lot of analysts see as the, as the moment when Mitt Romney hands down lost the debate, is when they had the exchange about Libya. And so I think that it will be an issue. President Obama is absolutely prepared to answer it as an issue. And I think overall, foreign policy is a place that is a, a big advantage for the president. Many voters, the majority of voters, see that that President Obama has a huge lead, to give the President a huge lead on foreign policy, and not just on, on issues of, uh, of what actually happened in Libya. Romney is being seen as really politicizing it, and I think that turns Americans off. But when they look at what the President has done in ending the war in Iraq, in, in downplaying the war in Afghanistan, or ending that too, in focusing on uh, really rebuilding our, our allies around the world, the relationship with our allies around the world, I think that that is something that voters see as tremendous leadership in terms of foreign policy, and I think it's going to help him on Monday. Chris, what do you think? What does President well, Obama I, I need to focus more, on? Yeah, I couldn't disagree more strongly. I think what if Obama spends time focusing on Libya, he's going to lose this debate because what's come out since the debate, and I disagree strongly that he won that point because what's come out uh, in the time since then, and particularly over the last couple of days, with the with what went on with the embassy during the attack and the the situation with the State Department and the request for additional security and how it wasn't provided, I mean, it's really I think that is probably the biggest net negative that the president has going into this. And I think it's a huge pro, a huge problem for him that this last debate is on foreign policy. But the one place Maria left out in terms of our allies is probably our most important ally is Israel. And when if you spoke to Florida initially, and that's a huge issue in this election, it's probably the state that I don't think. Romney or Obama can win this election without winning Florida. And the Jewish vote in, his, in Florida is a very big swing vote. And it's a vote that Obama won heavily in, two, in 2008. And all polls show that he's beginning to lose very heavily this time. And as Obama has done just about everything to turn his back on Israel, including refusing to meet with, with, uh, with Prime Minister Netanyahu when he was in New York a couple weeks ago, it really shows that the challenges that he's going to have going into a debate on foreign policy. Really the one thing that I think uh, that President Obama does have in his, in his hip pocket that he can pull out is the fact that he killed bin Laden. I think you're going to look for that to be mentioned again and again and again during this debate. But aside from that, he really doesn't have any successes to point to. And the fact that you've got an Iran that is closer to nuclear weapons, you've got really the fact that we've been leading from behind on everything, and then coupled with the Libya attacks that, uh, with all the new information that's come out even just since the, the last debate on Tuesday, I think makes this a real problem for the president going into the election, this to be the last thing that we talk about. Now, Maria, I want to get uh, your side on this real quick, and then Chris, I'll let you jump in real fast. So quick answers if you can. What do you see as the president's biggest weakness on Mondays, um, and what about Mitt Romney, and how should they exploit it? Well, I think that, you know, clearly Chris think, is, is, has said that the Republicans are going to exploit politicizing the issue on Libya. But again, this president is absolutely prepared for it. There's a Washington Post article out today about how what the, the administration has been saying about Libya in the first days after the attack was actually absolutely correct, given the intelligence that was available. And this is where Mitt Romney needs to be That's really careful. True. If he talks about how the president... President did not know or misled the American people um, intentionally in the days uh, after Libya. He is going to be betraying an absolute cluelessness about what happens and the kind of analysis that happens after these kinds of attacks when you okay. don't really know the full picture. He's going to have to be really Let careful me cut about you off that. Quickly, Maria, just so we can get Chris's take. Chris, what do you think? I heard you say you disagree. 
Well, yeah, I mean, that's just not true. The fact is the president and his administration came out and tried to blame this on a YouTube video when everything shows that they knew that was not the case. And I don't know what you mean by politicizing the fact that what we are doing here is talking about the facts <laughs> that have come out that show this administration has flat out lied again and again on what happened with Libya. There were two attacks on this embassy prior to the attacks on September 11th. This, uh, the ambassador asked for additional security and security was pulled out of Libya. To say this is politicized and then to have Vice President Biden say in his debate that he didn't know that more security was requested whenever we have now seen emails from Ambassador Stevens requesting more security. If, it, if the vice president didn't know about that, there's a real breakdown in foreign policy. You know, if you want to but talk be honest, about you security, about, you asked about Romney's to, biggest weakness here, and I'll say security, that. If you want to talk about security, then let's talk about how Republicans actually diminished the security uh, budget by... True. Millions All of right, dollars. guys. That's not true. Yes, I hate to back. stop it here. The suspense for the debate is <laughs> building up because you can see both sides here going at it, and I'm sure it'll be that way on Monday night. Chris Wilson, Maria Cardona, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you.